Hi everybody, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to be doing a um, games collection here of um, my favourite games, but um, this is going to be part one. I want to do about um, maybe three or four parts um, to it, but this is going to be part one. Got some gum here as well, so I'm going to be chewing some gum as well as doing the games, um, my favourite games. So this is my favourite, uh, these are SNES games by the way, sorry I forgot, should have told you that, they're um, Super Nintendo games, so So, this is part one. So, I'm going to start with um, a favourite of mine. Um, which, if you're a... Uh, if you're a real vintage player, you would know why. My first pick is um, this one. Street Fighter 2. Super, Super Street Fighter 2. I really enjoyed this game. Um, I mean, as some people will say they preferred the World Warrior or Champion Edition. Or turbo. What I like about this one is there's a lot more you can do. Um, there's a tournament mode in there where you and eight players can, you know, bat that out to see who's the best. Or you can do it yourself and then the computer takes up the rest of the places uh, the tournament is quite good um, there's training mode on there as well as well as the arcade which they call the super battle versus it's just I was completely obsessed with the tournament game because obviously it's a brand new um, game or mode to try whereas you can say just arcade arcade versus arcade versus you know you've got groups you've got tournaments on there fantastic game I'm not dissing the others but I was obsessed with this game um, as a child um, um, admittedly I had the Mega Drive version I had the Sega Mega Drive version but when I see this I had to have it because um, childhood memories came back for me for this one um, I did have um, special champion edition for my Mega Drive um, years and years back now I'm um, showing my age <laughs> um, and there was like, there was an arcade, there was versus, there was group battles. Um, but yeah, this one is so much better. So much, dare I say, super. On with the fighting games. Um, if you had the SNES and you was into the fighting games, you had to have Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct was, um, I was actually first introduced to this game in my local youth club. <laughs> Admittedly, probably we shouldn't have been playing it at that age, but I mean, we was around about 10 or 11 at the time, but there is a lot of blood and gore in it. Um, 
It's got a wicked theme tune. Used to love the Killer Instinct, um, Killer Instinct theme tune. Um, but this, I mean, this game brought a completely different new feel to fighting. Um, I mean, you had humans that turned into human flames. You had like a pre-extinct dinosaur. I think his name was Riptor. I think the flame guy was Cinder. He had Saber Wolf as well, a guy who turned into a werewolf. <laughs> like a ninja, a skeleton that had been granted life, so he's like, you know, it's got like a shield and a sword, and it's like coming after you and everything. Uh, Glacius, who was the alien. Jago, who was a little ninja. Orchid. Boxer. Um, just a brilliant game all around. Um, Back in the day, um, Rare, who is the company that made this game, um, it, it was, you know, they they really made a fantastic game. Um, Killer Instinct Gold, which was on the, the Nintendo 64, wasn't as good as this. Although it was good, um, it couldn't hold the torch to the original one um, that is full gore by the way um, but <laughs> trying to get the ultras or the ultra combos on there right at the end quite tricky but once you get it it's good um, but yeah fantastic game rate it 10 out of 10 as well as Street Fighter um, still on with the fighting genre um, Ultimate Mortal Kombat Three, the ultimate, the ultimate fighting game. Um, I think this was the last one that came out on the SNES because uh, I think after that it was um, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, which is on the PlayStation. Um, I didn't actually think that Ultimate was um, released in time for the SNES, but obviously it was. Because obviously by this time they was making Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 for the PlayStation. Um, but I think this was made just in time. Obviously, obviously Super Nintendo or SNES has not got the capacity or the, the technology to make a game as good or as much quality as the PlayStation had. But overall... Um, I had Mortal Kombat 3 for my Mega Drive, um, my Sega Mega Drive, and I say I had this for the SNES, but um, for the Super Nintendo this was a really, really good game, um, they packed as much as they could into it, and um, yeah, it's definitely a 10 out of 10 for what they could cram as much they could cram as much as they could into one cartridge to make it you know try and make it as good as they can um but for SNES for SNES platform brilliant game really brilliant game and for the fourth one we're going to change completely um Super Mario Kart had to be um, if anyone has said to you they've never heard of Mario Kart they're lying because this game amazing 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 um, especially when there's like three or four of you playing it um, and do the old you know quarter screens and split screens and stuff um I would be surprised if anyone who owned a SNES, this was not in their collection, to be fair, because it's funny, it's competitive, and it's just all-round family fun. This game, I would definitely rate a 9 out of 10. If you did not have this game, you're either lying or you were living under a rock, because this, this game was amazing on so many levels. And finally, 
um, sticking with this um, the Mario franchise Super Mario World and again getting back to my youth club I used to play this was one of the games that we were allowed to play um, because it's just overall fun um, can get tricky in some places but then again that you know that's what it's all about but so I mean I had, I've got Mario 3 in fact I've got Mario All-Stars which Mario All-Stars is good but this is just a little bit better um, so you talk about Mario 3, Mario 3 was good, still, you know, still playable, but um, Super Mario World is so much better, so when they introduce Yoshi, um, and quite a lot of things really, um, but this is definitely a 10 out of 10, um, I just, as you can see it's a bit battered, um, most of these games I have brought kind of over the past, I'm going to say about three or four years. So obviously they're going to be a little bit on the damaged side. Some of them aren't too bad. Um, some from like this poor thing <laughs> is a bit bad. I got this from um, a second hand shop and they said, um, Oh, it's a little bit um, battered, sir. Like, you know, it's a little bit, you know. Do you still want it? I was like, yeah. I said, well, does the game work? And they said, yeah. I thought, of course I want the game. <laughs> I'm not too bothered about the case. As long as the game works, that's all that matters to me, really. Uh, it's a bit dirty. We do with a, a little clean. But, yeah, fantastic. Okay guys, I want to thank you for joining me, um, that is my um, favourite SNES games part 1, um, look, look out for part 2, um, you could look out for part 2 by subscribing, clicking that bell icon, giving us a like, that'd be great, and if you want to comment down below, again, that's also great. Uh, I want to welcome all my new subs. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, and thank you for clicking a like and clicking that subscribe button. Um, and yeah, I'll be back very soon with part two and another new video. Until then, take care. Ciao for now, guys.